Hi guys, I just want to show you how you can use Macasta Car Part to import some uh, standard models such as screws, bolts, nuts, things like that. So I'm working on this uh, handle for a pulley crank essentially and I need some bolts to put into it um, and I don't want to really have to model them. So what we can do is go to insert insert Macasta car component and we have well not every single one of these has a model but a lot of these have models that you can use so the one I use the most is nuts screws and bolts so if we go into bolts and if we go to metric if you use inch then obviously select inch to filter out uh, metric but since I use metric I'm going to select that then we can go down to the size. You can do it afterwards or we can do it here. I prefer to do it here to filter out all the stuff I don't care about. So I need an M3 screw. So we're going to select M3. Now I tend to use the stainless steel ones just because I actually have these at home. So it's kind of like the the ones I have. So if I select this one, um, we're going to scroll down. You can also select on 0.5 because I only have 0.5 uh, thread pitch screws so yeah select that uh, now what we do is uh, select the length of screw we want so the length is this number here so 10 means 10 millimeter 20 20 millimeter for this component I measured it um, from the bottom of this hole if I go onto this, sorry, I have to go back. If I press I, I can click on this surface, and then I can click on this surface, and you can see we've got 13 millimeters. So we need to find a screw that is equal to 13 or greater than. So what we're going to do is go back to my caster car component, and of course, this is a bit I hate about it. Um, it doesn't remember where you were last, so you have to go through the menus again. And if you go to socket head screws, M3, stainless steel for me. Um, you can just avoid this menu here, or you can select it here. Um, now we need to look at the next 12 is obviously too short. 14 is one millimeter too long, so that's okay. We can deal with one millimeter too long. Now, clicked on product detail and it says a little CAD thing. Now you can double check on this diagram the length of the screw. So the 14 mil refers to the actual threaded rod of the screw. So um, we know this is good. We can go here, select step. Uh, not every one of these works. The drawings might work, never tried them. Um, so if we select step, and click save after two seconds it should work okay so what I like to do now is I use point to point but for point to point to work you have to have it in the right orientation to begin with so I'm going to rotate this by 180. Now what I can do is go to point to point. We're going to go to this bottom face. And once we've got this bottom face, we're going to hold shift to lock, uh, sorry, hold control. And then we're going to select the center point. Now we're going to go to where we want it to sit on. So you can see there's already a line uh, where it's going to go. So we're going to click this center point and it puts it perfectly where we want it to be so now i want a an m3 nut to go into this uh recess so i'm going to do the same thing insert macasta car component nuts metric hex nut same thing here, I like to go with the ones that look like the real life ones. Uh, for me, that's the uh, 
stainless steel because I actually have them. Um, select M3. And because there's only one not size, obviously we're going to have just um, very few options. So stainless steel is this one. So we click on this number here. Click on product detail. Select step, save. Just drag it out there. Go to point to point. Now we're going to select this this face here. Hold control, click the center. Now go to this face here, select the center. If it doesn't align the first time, like it has done for me, you can sometimes press on um, I oh, know sorry that's on on the line there's another option you can do to align and it's go to modify align and if it's kind of like off kilter there's a button here that says says uh, flip and this only shows up when you select the two things but it's perfect so I don't need to worry about that okay so I need one more screw so I'm going to press I for the measuring tool I'm going to click this surface here then they're going to select this surface and that's 13 um, so now um, I need to consider the amount of screw length that comes out the bottom of this hole so I want it to come out I could add another tab here I want it to go through this poly system I have here. This is the original handle, by the way. So what I'm going to do is hold I, measure from here to here. So I need to add 10 millimeters onto 13. So I'm going to go back to insert Macasta calf component, um, bolts. So we're looking for a 23 mil length thread. So, um, bolt, sorry. What, what am I on bolts? Socket, metric, 80 and 10 stainless steel, M3. the 0.5 thread pitch and we're looking for 23 closest one is 25 because 22 is um, a little short even though it should be fine because uh, yeah we're going to go for 25 anyway product detail save the step Eventually it's my load. There we go. So as before, we need to rotate it in the right orientation to begin with. And then point to point. Click. Hover over this surface, hold control. So you can select this point in the middle. Go to the surface you want it to go to. And you don't need to hold control for this, it already knows. So I'm going to click that. And we can see we have a perfect um, handle ready to uh, 3D print. So what I would do is print this green one so that this stem is pointing upwards so we don't have to have any support material. Uh, actually, we might need support material in this recess here because it will be an overhang. Um, 
Other than that, I would don't think there's any support material needed. This can be printed. This orange piece, this knob, can can be printed in this orientation. So um, that won't need support material. Just this hole here. Okay, so uh, I hope that helps. Uh, it's very useful to use Macasta car part. I use it all the time because I don't want to have to mod model um, screws. So yeah, um, hope it helps.